Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? It's I Can Swim here with another great tech tutorial tip for you. So today, I'm going to I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video of my last video, which is how to remove a BIOS password using CMOS PWD. Now, in the last video, a lot of you were having trouble removing it on Windows Vista 7, 8, and now 8.1. So, I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of um, diagnostics and just troubleshooting and I found the solution as to why it's not working and why you are getting the ioperm.exe dash i and you need to run that so this is going to walk you through how to do all of this and still clear that CMOS PWD password alright so first I want to show you guys that I am in fact running um, Windows 8.1 on this computer so to do this we're just Actually, I'll do this the easy way. So we're just gonna we're gonna go up to your computer, to the computer icon. Frig, where is it? Anyways, so I'm gonna do this through. I'm just gonna go to the C drive, and then I'm gonna right click and go to properties. Ah, balls. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay, so as you can see here, I am running Windows Edition, Windows 8.1 Pro. So there's the proof that I am running 8.1 on this machine, and so this is a legit video. Anyways, so now that we now that we have that determined, we're you're gonna go ahead and. Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, oh, Vista 2, you're gonna, you're gonna go to the link in the description, I will make sure to put it there, or I might flash it on the screen somewhere. You're gonna go to that link, and you are going to download um, the CMOS PWD-5.0 um, zip file, which you can see right here, that one. And then once you have that one downloaded, you're going to right click on it and you are going to go up to extract and then extract all sorts. So once you do that, you're going to extract everything to your C drive, okay? Or whatever your main directory is. So for me, it's, this, it's the letter C, um, but yours might be D, E, F, whatever, whatever. So you're going to extract it to this directory right here. So um, so the main directory for your computer, as you can see, mine's already been done. And once you have that, just continue watching this video. Um, so moving on. So once you have that done, we are going to create an elevated command prompt. Now, we need to do this to ensure that you have all the right permissions to execute this process. So to do this, we're going to just right click, you're going to go down to new, and then, sh whoops, sorry, you're going to right click, go down to new, and then do shortcut. From here, you're going to go to browse, and then we're going to go to this PC, your C directory, Remember that primary drive, and then you're going to go down to Windows, System32, and then we're going to go down and find that CMD file, which is going to be quite a ways down because there's a lot of there's a lot of files in the CM in the System32 directory because this is like the the junk of your computer. This is like everything it's going to use to boot up. So this one right here. So once you have that, once you find that, you're going to click on it and press OK. And it's now going to show up. You're now going to see. You're now going to see the C, the CMD is the root. Is the. It's going to be where it looks to execute this. So there's there it is there. And now you're going to press next and you're going to name it Elevated Command Prompt and once that's done you're just going to click finish and it's going to come up with this one right here now you're, we're almost done 
Now you're going to click properties on your elevated command prompt on the desktop. You're going to go to the advanced right here. And you're going to you're going to check the box that says run run as administrator. It's the top one there. Once that's done, just click okay. And then you're going to click apply and press okay again, and now we're set. We have everything we need to make this to execute this properly. So we are going to run as an administrator, Windows command proce processor, and it's that's the elevated command prompt. You're going to click yes to run it. And now, as you can see, it's brought you to the C slash Windows slash System32, which is the elevated command prompt directory. So once we are, once you're in that System32 directory, that's what your elevated command prompt is going to come up as. We're going to change the directory now to that to your CMOS PWD program. So you're going to type CD, C being the drive ladder, slash uh, CMOS PWD dash 5.0 back, I guess that's flat, forward slash, forward slash Windows forward slash and press enter. And it's gonna, it changed that directory now to CMOS PWD and that's gonna be your program. So now this is where this is where the magic commands start happening. So what we're going to do is now because the because Windows changed the the command line slightly for Windows X for Windows Vista 7 8 8.1, we have to do something else to actually start the process. So the next command we are going to type is CMOS PWD underscore win dot exe and then you press enter oh I guess we don't need that one all right forget that command anyways so so what we have to run now is we have to get the process started and installed so we're going to type ioperm dot exe dash i and press enter and as you can see on mine here, it's already started. Come on, focus. There we go. You can see on mine it's already focused. Sorry, <laughs> focused. It's already started because I've already run it. Um, but on yours, it won't be started because this is the first time you're installing it. So once once you've typed that command and it says and it says it's running now you can go ahead and move on to the next step. And now we're gonna do the same command as in the first video, which is, um, uh, CMOS PWD underscore Windows backslash K. And what this does is it gives you your three options just like in the XP version. And you're just gonna hit your number two now. And da 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 da! CMOS killed. Just like that. So you've now you've now done everything that needs to be done to remove that unknown BIOS password that's long since been forgotten. And you can now access all your all your BIOS settings once again. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great tech tutorials. And from Icon Swim 70, see you next time.